Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Tamun and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Now, one common question I keep getting asked literally every week is that AI is coming from my job. And that's like the impression everybody gets whenever like a breakthrough in happens when AI, right? Uh, almost every two to three months, somebody comes and says all the jobs are gonna go away. And honestly, complaining about AI at this point is kind of futile as AI is here, whether you like it or not, AI is here and it's going to change a lot of jobs. Yes, job disruption is going to happen without any doubt. Anybody who thinks that they are like uh, their job is not going to get impacted in a minor or a major way by AI, he is like living in a dream world, you know? So job disruption is very much going to happen. As you can see on the screen, the latest report from the IMF, they said that almost 40% of global employment is going to get disrupted. But the good news is a new sort of jobs are also going to be happening, right? So job disruption doesn't just work in one way that is going to just take away jobs. AI is going to create massive amounts of new jobs within the industry and within cybersecurity also. And today I want to focus on one particular field, which is AI governance. And I really want to focus on this because I feel this is an area people are not realizing just how, how much in demand it's going to be. Because as AI is going to evolve, at so far, it's evolving so fast, right? Companies need professionals with governance skills, with risk skills on AI especially within cybersecurity and risk, right? And that's the whole point of this video. In this video, what I'm going to tell you is what are what is AI governance? Why it's so like, why it is going to be so much in demand and how you can start learning this skill. What are the steps you need to take to start learning this skill? So here's the whole point of this video, which is AI governance. And I feel this is like the future of cybersecurity jobs. If you're new to my channel, please do like and subscribe to this channel. Share this video if you found it useful. Thanks. So first of all, why? Why is AI governance going to be so much in demand? It's easy for me to say that AI governance is like a hot field, it's gonna be blah, blah, blah. What, what is it? What, what, there are three reasons why I feel AI governance is going to be so much in demand in the coming years. Okay, the first one is regulations, which is that new sorts of AI regulations are coming out, right? Uh, if you're not aware, the EU AI Act just came out, which is a major, major milestone in AI, right? It is the first true AI law, and it's going to set the benchmark for EU, the European market, and for the rest of the world, because what the, the laws which are get enacted in the EU, usually the whole world follows, right? And as AI becomes more and more integrated into various sectors, you know, various technologies, various sectors, the and like governments are developed, they're going to be developing these laws and they need professionals who understand these regulations and can implement like AI governance structures to ensure compliance. So the demand for people with this regulatory understanding and AI risk management is only going to grow as more and more legislation and more and more laws and more and more standards are introduced. So AI governance is going to be a very, very hot field going forward, right? So that is the first reason, which is regulations. The second one is low entry barrier. And this is quite important. Low entry barrier, meaning that it is easy to get into this field compared to the other AI fields. Now, when people talk about AI, like what AI is, and it can seem very intimidating at the start, very scary if you if you don't have a knowledge of AI. And people keep hearing AI, AI all the time, but you don't understand that if you don't have a knowledge of this, it seems a very scary field, right? It seems like to get into this field, you need to understand like deep learning and you know neural networks, how complicated these statistics and complicated form of algorithms which are used by machine learning algorithms to communicate with each other or you need to know programming you need to know all those python libraries for machine learning download them and learn all those algorithms like a lot of people tell me they have no idea how to get started because it seems so complicated so advanced or you need to know like i don't know statistics you need to have like a phd in all those advanced statistical models and that's what I want to talk about. Actually, AI governance is such a great career choice because it's easy to understand. You only need to have a fundamental understanding of AI and you can get started, right? And that is the whole, the best thing about AI governance. Deep diving into the AI concepts is good, but it's not an essential requirement. With AI governance, you just need to have a high understanding of AI and you need to deep dive into the regulations and risk management. And with the right training, you can be from law, business, compliance, and you can transition into this role. And this accessibility makes it very attractive for those people who look at the AI market and want to get into it, but they don't, they really don't like the whole advanced 
neural networks, machine learning algorithms, programming. They don't want to do that because they're not interested in that, right? So that is number two reason, which is the low entry barrier. And the last one is the trustworthy AI market. What is that? So let's take a look, right? The market is being flooded with AI products and trust is becoming more and more important. So companies that can demonstrate that their solutions are trustworthy and they are like secure and compliant, they will have a big competitive advantage. They're going to make a profit, right? Because customers are becoming increasingly like AI literate. They know that their data is being used by AI and they want to do business with those companies that those whose AIs are secure. So professionals who are skilled in AI governance, they are going to be instrumental and companies are going to be hiring them. They want people who can audit their AI systems, who can make sure that their AI systems are compliant, they are secure, they are transparent, and they want to make sure that they, are, they have people who can actually certify them with the upcoming standards, upcoming laws. So that is another reason, which is basically the competitive advantage that the companies will have who are certified to secure AI, to transparent AI. So those were the three reasons. I hope this gave you a good idea. And now you understand why AI governance is going to be such a hot field in the coming years. So now, uh, how to learn AI governance? Now, this can be like a complete, like, a, I don't know, four hour course, obviously. But how to learn AI governance? I just want to set you on the path. The first step is very, very, very obvious. You need to understand the fundamentals. I, I, I said before that you do not need to like deep dive into AI details, right? What are like machine learning algorithms? And that is correct, but you still need to get a solid understanding of AI. Like you don't need to become an expert programmer or get a PhD in statistical models, but you need to know how, what AI is, what machine learning is, what are the common AI applications. There are like a million online books and resources that you can use to get this foundational knowledge. And this will help you to understand the regulatory challenges, the AI risks which are associated, right? And I cannot stress this enough. Do not skip this step, please. Do not jump ahead to the other steps without understanding what AI is. So once you have a good understanding of AI, the fundamentals, it's time to understand AI risks. Now, AI, like I said before, it brings with it a new sort of risks that did not exist before, right? Around data, around machine learning. And as AI systems become more, more and more connected, we have risks like bias, data privacy, unintended consequences, wrong data. You give AI the wrong data, it's going to make the wrong decisions, right? And leading to real life impact. People's loans could get declined. People could get arrested. And no company wants that headline for the AI systems. So that's why you need to understand, right? What are the sort of AI risks which are there and how to identify, assess, and mitigate these risks. For that, that is a, a key requirement for anybody wanting to enter this field. A very good resource, completely free, and you can just download it is the AI risk management framework for NIST. I have a complete course on this on Udemy also. That's like a four hour course, but just this is completely free. Just download it, go through it. It might be a little bit confusing at the start, uh, but like I said, this is a great starting point you can use to understand the different sort of AI risks which are there. So now that you have a good understanding of AI and AI risk, now you can di deep dive into the AI regulations and frameworks. I mentioned the EU AI Act, right? You can download that and get a look at it also. You don't need to memorize the EU Act. Just understand how it works. It has a risk-based approach. Find out what are your different obligations for companies which are there. It has a risk-based approach. So if you have unacceptable risk, they are different. They are high risk, limited risk, minimal risk. Just understand what are the different risk levels. What are the different obligations that companies have? what fines get imposed. I've made a complete video on this on my YouTube channel. So you can check that out also, okay, on AI regulations and standards. If not EUA Act, then you can just take a look at the ISO 42001 standard, which has come out. It's like a new standard, which is focused on creating an AI management system and mitigating AI risk. So that is also this, I don't think the standard is free, but there are many, many free videos available on YouTube, which go into like this standard, what it is. So this is another standard which you can, get a hold of. So now that you have a good understanding of AI, AI risks, and like you've gotten a good understanding of AI uh, frameworks, step four, this is optional, you can get certified also. AI governance now, it's a new field. So you don't have that many certifications right now. If you already have something like the CISM or CRISP, then you have a good foundation on which you can build your AI governance skills on. And one certification I recently found out is this one, which is the AI governance professional. Uh, from AIPP and this is like uh, from the website itself this is that uh, this is for professionals who want to execute AI governance and implement AI risk management 
and deployment of ethical AI. I am going to be covering this certification in more detail. This looks very promising. I have taken a look at it, the body of knowledge, and I'm going to be looking at. I'm, I'll, I'll see if maybe make a video on this or maybe make a course on this. But this seems like good if you want to have set your future career goals for the next two years and all that. This is a promising certification to get. Okay, now. I hope this gives you a good idea and this gives you more optimism about your career, right? How you can go ahead and you don't, I hope you don't feel so scared about AI now. So this was the video guys. I hope you see that now AI governance is very much the future of cybersecurity and you understand why it's so important and what's the, like, uh, what are the steps you can take to get started. I hope this video was useful to you. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.